All right. So what do we got? Bark. What's uh, section nine? Well, I liked it when it told me everything. Bosses are tougher. Does it tell me everything up here? Yeah, it does. Okay. Elites are tougher. Bosses are tougher. Normal enemies are tougher. Start each run. Damage. Heal less. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Let's talk to the ugly whale. What do you want, whale? Transform two cards. Obtain a curse. Doesn't sound that great. Obtain 100 gold. Choose a card to obtain. It's not that good either. Obtain a random boss relic can be quite good on silent. I kind of want to. I kind of want to roll on the random boss relic. It's my most interesting of these three. Let's just check to see where uh, where the first merchant is. We could go almost immediately into a merchant, which could, for example, let us get rid of the curse. So that it basically becomes transform one card, spend a hundred gold. I don't know. I don't really like that. I kind of like the boss relic more than I like that. Okay. I know, chat. What do you guys want? Ah, uh, bacon. I can't. I can't make something that work that doesn't work on my computer right now, man. Uh, it's not a matter of uh, whether or not I would play it if I could. I would play it today if I could. Sip six. So, boss relic it is. Sure, boss relic it is. Tanner ran a boss relic. Fingers crossed for something cool. All right, where are we going? Are they all fights? All of them are fights. If we go up the middle, we get merchant. If we go up the sides, we get oh, we can get merchant and uh, fire. Two boss fights that way. Kind of want two boss fights though. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they're PC issues. I think it's. Um. Yeah, I don't know. So I have an advanced copy of that, but uh, I was out of town, so I didn't have a chance to install it till I got back, and it's not working as intended. So I don't think it's PC issues, but maybe. Two boss fights either way. Um. Yeah, but it's the number of fires I get. It's not two fires either way. Where is it? You can definitely get it only down to one boss fight, but I don't want one boss fight. I want two boss fights for the relics. <sighs> so what is the start, though? Extra fireplace for an upgrade or an extra removal card? Upgrade super important on this deck. Getting the neutralize upgraded. Mm -mm -mm. One question mark. It's the same number as a fire either way. That's three. I'm gonna get three this way. I don't have to go up that left side. It just delays the upgrade. I would like the upgrade before I fight bosses. What if I went up this way? Boss one. Fireplace one, boss one, boss two. If you go up this way, fireplace two, merchant two, fireplace three, merchant three. Can I afford three merchants? Let's try that way. That seems fun. So we're going to be pretty poor if we do it that way. That's one, two, three. Alright. Okay, what do we got? Slaver. Doing eight. I have four mana randomly? No, I just played a played a zero cost card. I'm like, why do I have four mana? Okay. Okay. 
Random potions can be good if we get healing potions. It's gonna be an ugly round. Unless we draw well. It's fine then. Take another one. He's dealt two or three to us now. Not draw good attack cards here, unfortunately. Again, I thought I had one less mana. I'm like, oh, do I want to do one damage, one set of damage to him, or do I want to take zero? Okay. Explosive potion. Terror, calculated gamble, or prepared. These are all really solid. I would pick all three of those if I could right now. I think Terror is the least good of those. I think Calculated Gamble is sick. I think Prepared is pretty sick too. Uh, I think Prepared is a little bit better in the early game. Uh, but I think Calculated Gamble might build a better deck. I love Terror, don't get me wrong. I think I'm going to take uh, Prepared here. Why is Calculated Gambo uh, so good? Because it lets you have a... It lets you cycle for specific cards, basically, right? So you draw... It's because of the mass amount of card exchange it does in your deck. So let's say you run an Acrobatics or a couple Acrobatics or a couple um, Backflips in your deck, right? So you draw up to like seven or eight cards and Calculated Gamble. It lets you ditch a huge amount of your deck all at once. It's not like you're burning it away, just discarding it to get an, a huge amount of card cycle going. So if you're fishing for a specific card, it's really, really good at getting you that specific card. I'm going to take it prepared right now. Uh, let's go here. Get rid of a... Uh, that's fairly interesting. Cheap glass knife. I'd rather card removal here. It's tempting. I've never played the card, and it would be nice in the early game to have a damage card that doesn't suck ass. How many times is this better than uh, Strike for? So it's eight, then six, then four. So it's better for the first three rounds you use it than a Strike. And it's significantly better the first, very first time. It's funny. There's a, I was just, I've been thinking a lot about a particular story that I read as a kid called uh, uh, What Good is a Glass Knife recently. It's a short story, uh, kind of a science it's science fantasy style, or a fantasy story. Could deal with that. I don't know. I think removing shit out of my deck is more valuable. Let's remove shit out of my deck. Alright. Alright, 12 damage. It's annoying. So that's gonna happen. Nine. Did he draw? Drew my attack card. Or my uh, best defense card, rather, and not enough attack cards. It's gonna hurt. Gonna hurt. Okay. Can I kill him this round? That'd be really ideal. He 
Yeah. Okay. Quitters never win. Dodge and roll is a very solid card. Um, Alchemize is all right. We could go double potion deck again. Kind of like the idea of it. It's fun. Let's do it. All right. Another question mark. Receive 175 gold. Become cursed with doubt. I don't think so. The next... Well, the next merchant cost me 100. Question is, where is it going to be? It's going to be after the bosses, though, right? Have to fight at least one boss while still having that in my deck. I don't know, man. Welcome back, Galg. 42 months. Thank you for the resub. Long, long time. Um, question is... <sighs> it's 175 gold change anything for this. So I gotta remove the stupid curse. So it it's just no. This is a terrible idea. No. Don't be terrible, Snake, and I'd do I'd do that. Okay, another merchant. 175 gold looking real good right about now. Get wrecked. Uh poison stab I don't want. Can't do the card removal. Could pick up a attack potion for one of the bosses. Do that. Okay. Speaking of one of the bosses, upgrade first, then go after this one. Seems reasonable. Let's upgrade our neutralize. Alright. Take our first boss fight. Okay, um... What's well, prepared? A little bit more cycle. Okay. This is such a garbage hand right now. I play skills, I give him damage. Wow. That was very, very unlucky. Okay. Too bad I have no damage in this deck. Quitters never win. Ooh. Uh, that's kind of good, actually, Gal. Because, um... You, uh... By the time, by time October rolls around, we'll be settled somewhere, Gal. So I'll know where I'm going to be. Should be a lot better for that. So that's kind of cool, man. Uh, sorry your trip got delayed, but it will work out better if you uh, want to say hi while you're over here. And, uh, Musselin, thank you for the resub. 19 months. Raise the sub, indeed. Uh, I don't know about this, guys. Gonna take some damage here. Here's Skull Bash. Which makes the next round really suck. This is a bad boss for us. Could we kill him? Let's take a look. I can do 20 with that. Is a one card gonna kill him? Nope. Do I want to take 18? Nope. Do I want to buff him up for strength? Nope. Two more damage per strength. Can I kill him the round after? Maybe. It's pretty RNG heavy. It's a tough call. All right. Boss is kicking our ass right now. It's not enough damage. Huh. 
Oh, it's energy. So explosive or um, fire would have killed him. Ow. That was a super terrible fight for us. Tiny chests. Uh, take a dodge and roll here. Okay. Let's hope we don't die to the random scrub fight. Yeah, let's hope so. Go. For sure. Alright. 14 over here. It's quite a lot. Kill one of them. And block for eight. Means I'm still taking damage, though. I really don't want to take damage here. Uh, let's see what we get. Poison. I'm a bit worried about this right now. This is going really terribly for us. Oh, he puts wounds. I thought he put a negative status effect on me. So it was totally pointless to waste that potion. I have to get some health back after this. I hate it when the silent decks work this way, where you get one round that's all attack cards, the next round that's all defense cards with no mix. It's, it's, it was screwing us earlier, too. Alright. Took two damage again, though. Add a card to our deck. Heel hook or backflip. I'll run a heel hook. Alright, let's grab this. Strawberry is actually really welcome right now because it gives current HP as well as max HP. You can dodge bosses both ways. Let's go to the fireplace next. Upgrade or camp. We're going to have one more. But I the thing is, if I want to take another boss, I kind of need to take another fight. And to take another boss, I need to heal. Just our deck is shit right now. If we miss upgrades, we're going to run into some serious problems. Uh, I think I'm going to upgrade a dodge and roll here. Alright, let's see what this is about. Hmm. 14 damage is quite a lot with no armor cards in my hand right now. Straw. Still no fucking armor cards. It's 22 to kill that. I have 18. That would be enough with poison, though. Still taking six, then. I guess I can toss Alchemize if I go that route, so I have another chance. So I either take six, leaving me at five, or I take, uh, what is this, 12 minus eight, I take four. I guess it's better to take four here. Mm. 
Is it? I feel like this is a weakness, right? And if this is a weakness, then that means two strikes doesn't kill this guy anymore. So they only do, uh, they do five after that, I think. 25% of six. I don't know where the rounding is on that. Oh, this four at the end of that. So let's, let's say it does four. He's going to take me three strikes to kill him. I don't know. I think I might save more damage by going double strike now with the poison. All right. I'm too excited about this draw. Block potions, very good here. Does this mean I can kill him next round? It's 18, it's 23, it's 20. Yeah. Okay, he's dead. Right. We are weak. Ancient potion kind of sucks. That's possible to use. Don't like this deck. This deck's looking bad to me. Uh, I don't want an accuracy. I think shiv decks are pretty shit. So it's do I want masterful stab versus a boss or not? The way I can empty my hand is using prepared or survivor. So if I draw survivor and neutralize in a hand or prepared and prepared just dumps in one. I don't think I can realistically use that quite yet. I have to dump a little bit more. I think not. Let's just move past. All right. Um, I don't. I can't afford a second boss right now. We're at five HP. A second boss will almost, uh, almost certainly kill me. Even with block potion. So we got to go up this way. Oh, this is a bad fight too. A lot of damage in gremlins. Uh, all right. Ten, fifteen damage on the board. Need to draw. me 11. 11 doesn't kill anything. <laughs> uh, do you have to get some damage out though? So 12, it's 18. Okay, so I dump a defend here. Let's dodge and roll. Let's strike. She never does damage. Do I care about these one way or the other? I don't think so. Is 11 different than 17? It would be, but I'm pretty sure this is weakness they apply. So with four, if I can do 11 damage here, leaves them at, uh, leaves them at seven. This shouldn't make any difference. Let's go up to the bigger HP one. Difference would be two damage. Two and a four would be six. Actually, it would. If I drew neutralize, it would be different here. All right. Oh, of course. Of course. I assume it targets the lowest hit point one, but I don't know that. That's 14 health now. I'm gonna just die this round, right? 10 damage, get one defend. So it's two strikes, I can do 11. That's at 14. 
It's only be 11 health if I do it that way, though. Can't do 14 damage, though. So my options are no options then. Anyways, all right, so we neutralize here. Do I even survive that then? They're doing 13, I'm gonna have 11. Yeah, I will survive. It's really fucking close though. <sighs> Not the start we were looking for. Taking 10 this round. Can survive that. I think I want to draw here. It's a good one. Oh, I can't kill one? Really? This 13? Shit. I literally can't kill one. Uh, okay. It's unpleasant. This is 6 and is 11. 6 and 8, though, is 14. And if I alchemize here... Okay. Let's toss the strike. They're doing 13. This is enough damage to survive that. So we can alchemize first. Should toss the defend is what I should have tossed, but it's fine. Okay, it's one to help us anyways. It's another fucking artifact potion. Survivor to defend and dodge and roll. Okay. Can I show all the ascension debuffs? There you go. Oh, it's going to turn on faster combat too. Alright. Am I just dead? Do do oh, no, I got to defend out. Okay. So I can kill him with two of these. I can actually think kill him with these two now. Alright. And she just targeted one and wasn't missing any health, so it looks like it's random. Alright. Uh, only have to survive five damage. I have two attack cards and a five damage thing. I think that's fine. Do I want to cycle cards? Not really. Well, maybe. Okay. There's 15 levels of ascension now? Oh, okay. Okay, no more, uh, no more block for this guy. It's good. Just dodge and roll. Actually, let's neutralize. And then heal hook him. Now dodge and roll. Defend. And strike, I guess. Okay. Buffed him three times, but hopefully I can kill him the next round. We'll see. Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, because the buff wore off. The debuff wore off. So we can. Alright, a little sketchy, a little sketchy. Keep waiting to die. Take an acrobatics. Alright, we have another fight we have to survive before we can heal. Which is kind of bad news. 